Hello, welcome to Shane for Crafts. My name is Shane. Uh, today we're going to be doing another tutorial on buttoning string envelopes. Okay? Uh, and I actually was inspired by a video produced by Mary Scrapper 13. I have the link to the video down in the description box. And, uh, and I was actually inspired by her video because, uh, you know, you can buy buttoning string envelopes online. But they're like, uh, they work out to like 50 cents each, even on eBay. And when you, when you get them, you can only get them in the brine. But if you uh, can make your own, you can use any type of paper. So it opens up, uh, it opens up uh, a whole lot as far as you, you being able to, it, it's very flexible to be able to make your own. Because then you can uh, use any paper that you have. And you can co color coordinate that and, uh, for, for, for different projects. So I'm going to be uh, showing how to make this particular style of envelope. So um, if you want to see how I made this, please stay with me and I'll show you how. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make this button and string envelope today. Now let me quickly tell you what you're going to need for this project. Okay, for this project, you're going to need uh, two pieces of 4x4 four four inch scrapbook paper. Okay, first, for before I get to that, let me show you how to, this is how I do it. Now, you... There's other ways to do this, but this is the easiest way for me. What I do is I make templates of every part of the envelope, the button and string envelope, in a, in a, in a piece of card stock paper that is completely different from what I'm going to be using for my envelope. For example, for this envelope, I'm going to be using this orange paper, okay, and uh, this this is actually paper I got out I, I using... Uh, Bold Bunny Country Garden Collection because it's, you know, for the spring and everything. It's nice spring colors. And for the back, to save paper, I'm using this beige cream cardstock. Okay? But, um, you don't have to use cardstock for the back. You can use two pieces of scrapbook paper if you want to. But, you know, to save paper, I, since I'm not really going to be looking at the back of it, so that's what I'm doing. But, this is how I do it. I make templates of the flap for the envelope. This is the flap. Okay, this is going to go over to close the envelope. This is the actual 4x4 four four inch template that I'm going to be using to, to measure, trace, and, and cut. And this is the little things that hold the envelope together. So I'm, I, I would... I make I have templates of these so that way I can just draw and trace, draw and draw, trace, cut, draw, trace, cut, and it just makes stuff a lot easier. Okay, let me tell you the measurements of this. Like I said before, this is four by four, and I'm using white cardstock. That way, I can't get it confused with my envelopes. Another thing I've done in the past is you can actually put a little stamp on your templates. So that way, it's another way you can designate them as templates so you don't get confused with, um, you know, what you're using for your project. Okay, once again, you need one 4x4 four four inch uh, piece of cardstock paper for your template. Then you need one 3 and a fourth inch by 3 fourths. I'm sorry, one three and three fourths inch piece by three fourths inch piece. Okay, let me say it again because I got tongue tied. That's one three and three fourths inch piece by three fourths inch piece of cardstock paper. Okay? Then you need, for the flat, which I'm going to show you how to make, you need one. rectangle which is three inches by four inches okay
let me show you how to make the flap fresh, the flap template. Okay, this is what this is right here. Okay, what you do is you're gonna um you're gonna go ahead and mark, measure, you're gonna take it like this, and you hold it the long way, and you're gonna measure three fourths of an inch down. Okay? So I'm gonna just gonna measure this three fourths of an inch. Just like that. You see the mark right there? Okay, I'm gonna take my I put it on my cut my cutter here, paper cutter, and I'm gonna use a scoring knife and I'm gonna score right there where I marked it. Okay. Score it straight across and then just fold it. Okay, just like that. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to open it back up, then I'm going to fold it in half this way, okay? So when you look at your fold, you're going to have like a little crossway at the top, okay? Then you're going to take a pair of scissors. Now you can leave it straight, okay? Let me show you what, what, what this actually is. You could actually leave it straight like that, and that could be an envelope. You could do some decorative cutting along this edge, but I usually like to have mine rounded off. That's just a personal preference. So what you do is you take your scissors. We see where it starts at the score. Don't cut. Don't cut be above the score. What you want to do is go underneath that score, and you want to start cutting into the piece of paper going in like a set a circle type pattern like that okay now I don't I don't like that little tip there so I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna round off the tip and round it right on in there this way both sides are the same okay so then you have that okay and here's the scored edge that don't get cut, remember? And see when you put it on top of an on top of the envelope, get ready to secure it now. That's what you'll have. Okay? Now you can definitely do more decorations and everything on the edge, you know. But that's how you make the template for the um the envelope the um for your envelope. Okay? Now once you have all that ready. Then you need to start cutting your um cutting your and your, your your scrapbook paper out. Okay? And for the and like I said, once again, you're gonna need two pieces of scrapbook paper that are four inches by four inches. Once again, what I did for the back, I'm using beige uh cardstock paper to save scrapbook paper. Okay. And then you're gonna need you're gonna need one one uh template you i mean not not the template you're going to need to cut out one of these and when you get ready to cut it out you open it back up put it down on paper draw trace cut and then score it at the, the three fourths inch mark okay so fold over you're going to need that then you're going to need three of these little uh these little pieces that i talked about which is the three and three fourths inch by three fourths inch. Okay? These, you need three of these to secure the envelope. Also, you need to go ahead and fold each of these three pieces in half because with that tap, that's how we're going to put the envelope together. Okay? Now, I know that the measurements, listening to the measurements, Sounds kind of confusing, so what I'm going to do is put put the measurements in the description box in the video. It's also going to be down at my blog, shameforcrash.blogspot.com. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fold those. I'm going to go ahead and score this piece three fourths inch I mean three fourths of an inch into it okay all right there we go 
go. Then fold it over. So that's ready to go. Okay. Now, to close up the envelope, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need to cut out of the scrapbook paper. Two circles. Okay, I'm using, I have two punches here. Okay, because I like, I, this is a scallop punch. I'm using a scallop punch and this little circle punch. Because I like the scallop edge. But you don't have to have punches to do this. Okay, you could do this by hand. Um, and these are the two parts I'm going to be using. You see how they fit one into each other? You see the circle fits over the scallop. Okay, you see the scallop edge outside. If you don't have punches, you can use two buttons or two different circles, small circles, that one is smaller than the other. Okay? This could be the top circle. This could be the bottom circle. Also, you're going to need a punch to put the... And then you're going to need two... I mean, you're going to need two... Uh, Two little, you know, eyes to punch them with. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna need two. Like I said, when you get ready to design this, look at how the colors fall together, and that way you'll be able to, you know, pick the colors that you want for this. Okay. You're gonna need two little circles, basically, and two bigger circles. Okay. And two. And two little eyelets, so you can punch. Also, you're going to be needing some kite string, okay? Once again, I'm going to have a list of the items down at the, down in the description box and at my blog, okay? Because I realize there's a lot of little things that are involved with this project. Okay, let's, when, once you have all that ready, you, then you'll be ready to uh, put the project together, okay? So, um, get all that together and then come back to the video and then I'll show you how to make the actual envelope. Okay, we're, we're back. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put this together. It's very easy to put together once you have everything uh, cut out. Okay, you're going to take all your pieces here. And what you're going to do first is you're going to take the back piece, which is this card stock that I'm using, or any other back piece. That you now, for instance, if this was the back piece, okay, you're gonna turn it this way, so that way the back is like that, okay. But like I said, I'm using cardstock for the back to save paper. Now, what you're gonna do is take these little thingies, the three of them, you're gonna put tape right here along the very edge, not all the way down, I'd say. Just part of the way in the middle. Because what I did was I left about, I'm say, hmm, let me measure that. You see, it's just a little bit. I left the corners free. I just put a line straight there. I left the corners free. Okay? Because the piece is not four inches long. Okay? You're going to take that. You're going to take one of these okay and you're going to turn the folded end towards yourself and you're going to place it right there on top of that look okay right there in the middle just like that okay that's the back of the card i mean the envelope okay you're going to go down the next side the next end okay Okay, just put a little bit. You don't need a lot. You just need just a little short line. Reason why you don't carry the glue all the way to the end because you have your bump right into the next part. Okay. Once again, you're gonna face, take the folded edge, face it towards you, and drop that right and line it up. Okay, and drop that right on top of that. Okay. So this is what you have so far. Okay. You're going to do the next side the same way. You don't need a lot. Just a, just just about two inches of a, a line of uh, 
tape glue right there. That's all you need, about two inches in the middle. Now take that, take the final piece, do the same thing on that third edge. And fold it, okay? Press it, press it. And this is what you'll have, you see? Three sides with those little uh, brackets on them, okay? The next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your tape glider and you're gonna go over just a little ways, part of the way, over each one of those. Just like that. You're gonna take this. Now, before put this to the side for a moment, um, I'm sorry, go ahead and put this on here first. Line it up, line it up just like that and put that right on top of the envelope, okay? So this is what you'll have. You see that? Here's the back, here's the front, okay? Okay, next thing you're gonna do is take a look at, now see, even though I, I, I was measuring, there's still a little bit of this part leaning over, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and level that off. Like I said, sometimes you don't, it don't always come out perfect. Go ahead and level that off at the top. So that way it's nice and even. Okay? It's nice and even. Nothing's leaking over either side. Okay? You're gonna take the flat. Okay? You see how that's go, that goes right over top of that? Okay? Now, before you glue anything together, you want to go ahead and start putting on your buttons. I guess what you call them, buttons. Okay? Go ahead and fix those. Get your, your, your cropper, I mean your puncher, whatever you call it. And just pick two coordinating uh, thingies here that will coordinate what you're doing. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this green. Green is kind of nice. Could use orange. Hmm. I mean, I'll use the orange since the card is orange. Okay. Okay. You're gonna take this, put the the, and you're gonna take the two. One, of, one set of the two circles, the big circle, little circle, put them together. Make sure that one, that's in the, the little one is in the middle of the big one. So you can kind of see the edge around it. You see that? You're going to take that and try to get in the middle and give it a good punch through. Okay. And then you'll have that. Okay, I'm going to do the other one. Also, you'll need some, some tacky glue for this to put this on the um, envelope. I don't recommend hot glue because you could easily burn your fingers. Also, another thing is that hot glue tends to become very lumpy. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to redo that because some of the diet, the... Uh, didn't go through like I wanted it to. Okay. Okay, that one's a lot better. Okay. All right. Okay, now what you're going to do have this you're gonna go ahead and take this to the back of that open this up on the, that side and put a little one line of tape glue right there and put this right on the back side of that
Okay. Another second here. All right, there we go. Okay, here's the envelope. Okay. And here's the back of it, okay? Now, you're going to take your, uh, your tacky glue, okay, and a Q-tip or a cotton swab. And you're going to put one of them here on the front. Then you're going to put glue all on the back of the button. But don't put any glue on the, on the metal part, on the eye. Just put it all on the back there. Just like that. Then take a, a knife, butter knife I use, put it on the envelope. Push it down. And you're going to take this butter knife and you're going to go right underneath the first circle and you're just going to start pressing. Now, if like, like I said, you can start pressing that right on to that. You see that? You see how I'm doing it? I'm right under. I'm not, don't 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 put don't pull up. Just go underneath and press that right on to the envelope, just like that. Okay. Okay. You're gonna do the same thing for the reason why I have this here. here is just in case you're unable to spread the glue. I can usually spread the glue with the nozzle. But if you're unable to spread the glue with the nozzle, you can put the glue on the back of it, and then you can spread it around with this on the back of it. Okay, now you take this and put this right there. Let me show you and do the same thing. Okay. You see that? You put it about a little ways down from it. And then you have your button and string enclosures, two of them. Okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for like um, about, let's say an hour. Okay, we're back. Now I just want to show you. And the the buttons the but the the the, uh, the buttons have completely dried. Okay. Okay. Let me show you. And they're still separate. Like I said, I've never had one to glue together, and I've made a few of them. So I'm just checking again. And it's still separate. Yep. Okay. Now uh, get your your. Uh, your string, your kite string, okay, and you want to cut, um, I say about 10 inches for each one, that'll give you enough to, you want just enough to tie it off and link it together, but you don't want too much to wear, it's, you have to waste string, okay, so 10 inches should do the trick. You're gonna take your string. Like I said, I usually start on the top and go down, but you can, it, it doesn't matter. You're gonna put the string like that, about that much of the string. A little bit like that, okay? You see that? And you're gonna take this and you're gonna tie it three times. Between the first and second circle. Okay. Just one. I got one tied one time. Two. Then three. Okay. One, two, and three. Now it, it's not going in. If you tie it three times, it's not going anywhere. Then, you know, the short end that you have here, short end, you're going to go ahead and cut that till it, cut that now. Watch what, watch carefully. You're going to cut that, don't cut the paper, just the string. 
I'm gonna cut that right now. Just like that. To where you don't see it anymore, okay? And then you can take this, put it around here like that. And you have your buttoning string envelope. Okay, I'm going to finish the other one up and then I'm going to come right back to you and show you the fin the, uh, the both of them together. Okay, I'm back. I got both of them done. Okay, the orange one and the beige one. Okay, and uh, I just want to show you this. This is how, and then see, you can take this and you can put, um, you can put, uh, a tag in there or a card or anything another thing you could do is you could I just want to mention it, if you want to make it easier for the person to take something out what I what I what I do is actually you can do this before you actually um what you know when in, when you're in the cutting phase take a circle or if you have a circle punch that would work. I don't have a circle punch big enough for this but I'm just gonna take a pencil and draw. I could have done this at the cutting phase when I was cutting everything out, but I forgot. And you can take a pair of scissors and you can just cut a little in opening so it can make it a little bit easier for the person if you're giving this to someone or if you're putting it in a scrapbook. It'll just make things a little easier for the person to grasp it and everything. So let me go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so there's a little opening there that you could, you know, if you wanted to put something in there. Let's say, for instance, this little tag, it'd just be easier for the person to take it out. Okay, that's another thing you could do. You don't have to do it, but, you know, it's just helpful if you did it. Okay, and uh, here's the other one, the front and back. Remember, I use cardstock on the back to save paper. Um... Yeah, and that's basically all you have to do. It's a very uh, simple, simple project, and you can make these. And the thing is, you can, you're saving money because uh, these little things are, are you know, uh, even on eBay, they're about fifty cents each. You know, I've seen them being sold in packs, and it works out to about fifty cents each. But you know, usually you only have the brown or the white. But if you make your own, it gives you more variety as far as how many different colors and styles of paper you can use. You can color coordinate them. I mean, you can do all kinds of things, you know, and, and match them up. You can even do this for, uh, this would be great for, for, uh, for holidays, Christmas. You can use Christmas papers, you know, and you could do all kinds of things with these little button and string envelopes. Well, once again, I want to thank you for um for watching Shane for Crafts. Uh, I'm gonna have pictures and directions down at my blog, which is shaneforcrafts.blogspot.com. Uh, once again, I want to thank everyone for watching today, and God bless. Bye bye. <music>